Hey Martha, you're in that animal science class, right? Yeah. So, you should know, what is AI? AI stands for artificial insemination, and it's the deliberate uh, introduction of semen into a female's vagina for the purpose of getting her pregnant. But why artificially inseminate? Can't animals, you know, like, get it on on their own? Well, for example, turkeys can't. Um, turkeys have been bred to have really large breast muscles, and now their breasts are so large they're unable to perform the mechanics of mating naturally, so they have to be artificially inseminated. I hear that they artificially inseminate all sorts of animals, like pigs and cows and animals like that. They can get it on naturally, so why artificially inseminate them? That's true, but there's other reasons for artificial insemination, like economic reasons, genetic reasons, and animal safety. Well, I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, I still feel bad that they don't get to actually experience coitus. <laughs> That's true. But seriously, like, how would you collect semen from an animal? I think I have a general idea, but I can't say I have any personal experience doing that. <laughs> so let's consult some experts. Hi, Farmer Massey. How are you doing? I'm doing just dandy, just on my way to the turkey barn. Well, we were just discussing AI, and we got to wondering, how is semen collected? Well, you guys are in luck. I'm actually on my way to collect semen from my toms. Nothing like learning firsthand. Dum de dum. Jeez. Wonder why I've been in isolation for like two weeks. Wonder what all the other turkeys are up to. Oh well, just another turkey day. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Whoa gobble. Whoa gobble. What's going on? Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, never mind. Just keep massaging my abdomen. That feels great. Oh. So yeah, as the male responds, then I squished inward and the semen expelled. And then I just used the aspirator tool to collect the semen from the tip of the phallus. Geez, thanks Farmer Massey. That was really thorough. If you all want to learn about semen collection, you should talk to me. I'm an ostrich farmer that uses AI. Now let's think about that for a minute. Ostriches are 400 pounds and can be up to 10 feet tall. They run at 70 kilometers an hour and have a four inch claw on each foot. Now if you, th if you can successfully collect semen from an ostrich, you can collect semen from anything. Jeez, that really does sound intense. How do you do it? Well, I could tell you, but what's the fun in that? How would I show you instead? Doom do doom do doom. I wonder when that Farmer John is going to come around. I was talking to Fred the other day and he was telling me about how Farmer John stacked this weird funnel things under his hoo-ha. I don't know what that could have possibly been used for. And Eddie was saying he stuck a tube right up inside his seven camel. I kind think Farmer John might have couple of screws loose, always trying to find new ways to collect our birdman juice. So when I get you guys to stand by the barn and watch from here, I've had to train these birds to get them used to me with a routine so they don't become too flustered when I handle them. Oh, what's going on? Today I'm using this vacuum method for semen collection because it's less stressful. The tube will have a small amount of suction that will draw the semen out of the canal. And shazam, you have your semen. Oh yeah, much better. Geez, thanks for that demonstration, Farmer John. I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like that before. Well, if you have any more questions, you know where to find me. Okay, thanks. See thanks. you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that was more than I ever thought I would know about semen collection from turkeys and ostriches. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I am totally going to destroy the next time I play Animal Science Trivial Pursuit. Uh.